Good morning. Good morning. afternoon. Morning. Morning. Go Red Raiders. We're psyched to be here. Uh, um, so I'm Maura Healy. Uh, I'm your governor, and I'm joined today by terrific folks on our team, our lieutenant governor, Kim Driscoll, our secretary of education, Pat Tutwiler, our commissioner for um, the important elementary uh, and secondary education department, Jeff Riley. We have our Department of Higher Ed uh, Commissioner Noe Ortega, and uh, we also have with us Assistant Secretary for Career Education Bob LePage, um, and of course the Chair of uh, DHE Chris Gabriella is with us as well, as well as a lot of folks uh, from government on our team, who all of whom work for you, um, and we're delighted to be joined by the people who also work for you, and we work with them. We have Senator John Cronin, who represents you all. Um, Representative Mike Kashmerik, who is a proud Fitchburg State alum. And your fabulous mayor, Mayor Dina Talley, is here. Superintendent Jocula, right? And we haven't, we were just talking the other day. Your Mount Wachusett uh, Community College president. And also, Erica, you're from the Early College um, Association. And we're here today to have a really, well, a couple of reasons we're here today. We love kids. There's no greater investment than us working together to invest in all of you and in your futures. And one of the programs that we're proud to talk about today is the early college program and ways that we can help through government, through funding, through investment, through partnerships with our high schools and our community colleges, find ways to get you on pathways that you're eager to be on towards careers, right, towards more learning. So um, very, very proud of that. We just recently filed something called a budget uh, where we make proposals about how money should be spent here to the state and we make those recommendations to the legislature. And in our budget proposal, we included uh, over $14 million for early college and innovation pathways programming. So we're really psyched about that. We also recently announced um, nine new early college partnerships for the next school year, which will uh, cover, we think, a, a total of, what, 7,000 students potentially? So super important. And we decided to come to Fitchburg because Fitchburg's doing it right. And you're a great example of the ways we can wire these things, high school to community college, um, to multiple community colleges and to our fantastic state college and university system as well. And so delighted to see everybody. And as I say, um, our priority is you. And we are really proud um, that you guys are putting the time in and doing the work. Um, continue to work hard in what you do and know that this team of folks is gonna be here to support you as you go forward. And I'm now gonna turn it over to the uh, Lieutenant Governor Thanks, Governor. Hey, everyone. It's great to be with you. We're so thrilled to be able to spend some time like in the school, hearing directly from you. And it's really important that we have everybody with us because your voices really matter in this. Um, before I was in this role as Lieutenant Governor, I was the mayor in Salem. And we in Salem were one of the first early college districts. And so we had students uh, duly enrolled in high school and at Salem High and at Salem State University, which I happen to be an alum of. And I thought it was great um, really so often to see, frankly, the, the pride that our first early college students participated in when they were at Salem State, when they got their clipper card. Uh, and what it really did for us was open the door for so many students who wasn't sure if college was gonna be a good fit for them, if they were gonna be able to afford it, um, if they were gonna be successful at it. It also really helped families who were able to get a year, like many of our students put together a plan that gave them 24 credits. Uh, between their junior and senior year. So when they did go to college, they were already ahead of the game. 
Uh, they were ahead of the financing of what it would cost. And um, it helped us better understand how we could support all students, what those wraparound services might look like. Also, those early years showed us what some of the barriers were. What about transportation? How do we get students back and forth? But really took a, a, a lot of joy seeing uh, more opportunities uh, for high school students because we were hearing from our students that they wanted new and different experiences. They wanted to know that what they were learning during the day in high school had some connection to what they might do later in life. And that exposure um, even showcased things that you didn't want to do, <laughs> right? What was working and what wasn't. And we were really grateful to be part of that effort. And the governor's being modest. We put a boatload of money in the grant, in, in, the, in the current budget to help support the expansion of early college, to help also support pathways because for some students, early college opened their eyes around uh, this opportunity to go to college and be on a campus and, and uh, do all the things that you have an opportunity to do when you're uh, both going to school or living on a campus. And it also helped us understand that we had it pathways for folks who didn't necessarily see that as their next step after college or after high school rather, and made us think harder about what are the innovative pathways that we could support um, either through work and career choices or through licensing uh, with our programs that we had for things like early child care and other development. So really grateful to be here in Fitchburg because we do think Fitchburg is doing it right. Many of our gateway cities have um, an access to higher ed right in their own community, whether it's Fitchburg or Westfield or places that we know have access to great community college options like the Mount. We were just at uh, for, for the ribbon cutting in Lemonster. So I want to say thanks so much for giving us some information about what's working for you, how we can better support your efforts. It's like the most important work we do in local government. We want to make sure we're doing it as well as we can. So really appreciate your time and frankly all of us being here as partners in it. Great. Well, I, I know we'll, we'll be taking comments and hearing from folks, but why don't we get right into it with, with you all. And just if you could, why don't you talk a little bit about why you why you've joined the program and what you're getting from it how's the experience going don't all start at once I know. <laughs> anyone want to offer offer their experience all right so my name is Mateo and I'm a senior at Fitchburg High School and in regards to the early college program I took a one like half like semester course during the summer for introduction to sociology that was like fully covered by like the state and that I didn't have to like put out like my own pocket for and through that like I learned like stuff that I was interested in so it's like economic issues education socialization mm -hmm. so through the program like I was able to like go beyond like what high school can offer and like look at other topics I'm interested in without having the barriers of economic status right and did it give you a sense of whether or not you might want to study in that field or not want to study in that field? Uh, although I won't like directly go into sociology, like I'm interested in like government economics, so like it definitely helped like figure out like if I'm interested in some of the issues. That's great. That's go great. ask him where he got into last week. Yeah. <laughs> where did you get into school last week? Um, It'd be easier if you say where you didn't get into. <laughs> I got um, rejected from UNC Chapel Hill and waitlisted at Northeastern, but I got into um, Harvard, Columbia, Cornell, UPenn. Okay, that's terrific. Well, congratulations. Fantastic. What is Chapel Hill I mean, thinking about? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> totally, totally missing the boat. Yeah. Totally missing the boat. Well, excellent. That's excellent, Matea. Who else wants to share with us? Hello, I'm Duncan Snow, and I got into the early college, early college academy to get some of my core requisites done. Mm. Since Fitchburg High was offering the dual enrollment English from yeah the Mount, I took that to help get some of my early, um, to get ahead on my core Rex, because no matter what school you go to, you're going to have to take English 101 and 102, even if it's an engineering school. <laughs> and since I got accepted into Wentworth, yeah, Wentworth, um, it is going to help me by getting rid of those two core classes, English 101 and 102. That's great. Tell me, what's your name again? Duncan Snow. Duncan. All right. That's great. Thanks for sharing. I mean, the ability to clear some things out of the way um, and, and 
jumpstart. That's that's fantastic. Good luck. <coughs> so you may come to Boston, huh? Yep. Yeah, great. Um, hi, my name is Zoe Graham, um, and I am also a part of the early college program. Mm -hmm. I had the opportunity to join this year as a junior, and like Mateo said, I really liked um, having the opportunity to be in early college because I was able to explore different options mm -hmm. and different career paths that I may want to get into. Mm -hmm. um, I took the psychology course, and for a long time I thought, oh, I want to be a therapist, I'd like to be a psychologist. Mm -hmm. And through taking that class, I realized that that's not really the field that I'd like to get into. Mm -hmm. So I really appreciated the fact that I could take that course without um, – having to spend the money on it and learn um, what I really like to get into. Um, now I'm in the criminal law class and I really enjoy it because I'm able to explore that field and now I realize that I do want to be into some type of government. Mm -hmm. That's great. Just a quick follow-up if I may. Uh, love hearing about the benefit of early college in terms of being able to take classes for free which could you know reduce costs for you uh, in college, but question about what you've learned about yourself through taking these classes and participating in this program. Okay. Oh, oh we got some. Look at that. All right, let's go. Let's go. Always good to have a teacher with us. Well, yeah. Yeah. We got a few right here. To it. Uh, my name is Stephen Bate. Uh, I'm a senior, and I've taken dual enrollment for the past two years. And one thing I really learned about myself at first, like, I thought I would be just ready to go into college from the jump. But having to, like, um, balance your regular school, uh, the college, and sports, like, it made me realize that I need to have a better understanding of, like, time management and everything. And I think that early college really helped me get a, a feel for how college life will really be. Uh, I'm Deanna Bailey. I'm a senior. Um, Kind of like what Steven said, organization is a big thing. So coming from being in classes that like have a certain curriculum and like to treat you more like a high schooler versus a college student is definitely different. And getting to experience that and experience what next year for us will be like was really helpful. So that you, I, we're kind of getting thrown in like blindfolded and having this program was like letting us see and feel like what it would be like. Hello, I'm Rachel Brule. Um, I joined early college my junior year, and then this is my senior year, and I still continued with it. For me, it was a huge like confidence boost because I was someone who was kind of really terrified going into college <laughs> and not knowing what the classes were going to be like. So having these courses has really given me, okay, this is something that I can take on, and this is something that I know I can do. Sorry, it's stuck. <laughs> Hi, I'm Amber McCloskey. I'm also a senior, and I just started taking dual enrollments this year. Um, I started off the year first semester. I took um, healthcare exploration, which I think was the most helpful for me, and it goes right off of exploring, figure out what I wanted to do. And I really appreciated how you said what you didn't want to do. And um, we had some really great field trips. We had some really great guest speakers who were really informative and um, explained like their occupation. And it was eye-opening to, I really enjoyed the field trip we took to um, Mount Wachusett. And we got to just learn a lot about all the different fields. And definitely, I figured out what I wouldn't want to do. <laughs> <laughs> I give a lot of credit. Hi, um, it's Zoe again. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think also what early college has taught is independence because um, here at school um, you're, I think like Deanna said, it's all about the curriculum and having a strict curriculum and a teacher who's always telling you, you know, you have this to do and this to do. Um, but once I entered early college, my professors didn't do that. They kind of, you know, just go through the... Um, <laughs> um, yeah, they go over all the material throughout the class, and then that's that. They tell you, you know, you have an assignment, and that's it. They remind you once, and that's it. So it teaches you a lot about independence and how to take on things yourself um, and how to make sure that you're doing the things that you need to do because nobody's going to hold your hand and help you. 
Hello, my name is Eniel Peguero Sanchez. Um, I started, I'm a senior at Pittsburgh High School. I started taking dual enrollment throughout the summer. I took intro to communication and media studied. Um, to be honest, I didn't really do that good. Um, but I didn't let that determine my goal in taking early colleges. Also, I took psychology and passed it with 87 and accordingly <coughs> taking sociology and passing it. Great, Where, where's your enrollment? My enrollment, it's here at Pittsburgh High School. Patrick, and where are you taking your, your early college classes? I'm taking it here. So all the colleges, early colleges that I took, it was in Fitchburg. The one that I didn't, it was at Fitchburg State. At Fitchburg State, yep. okay. Yep. Great. I, um, let's see in again. Um, I think that it also helped to teach a lot of basic skills that you'll need for college, like writing research papers. Last year I took a dual enrollment U.S. History too, because I didn't really feel like I wanted to take an AP and take a big test at the end of the year. I just kind of wanted to learn what I wanted to learn and move with it. But I got to write a research paper on anything I wanted from a certain time period. And getting to learn like what skills that I would need for that is definitely beneficial, because that's something that we're going to see a lot in college. What was your research paper on? Um, I did the history of hate crimes, and I started in the 1800s and went forward. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, hi, I'm Envy Lohr. I'm a senior. Um, like Deanna, I took the dual enrollment history course as well, and uh, to carry off of like the research paper, um, yeah, it really helped me. And like she was very strategic in her grading, and so like she um, she wanted everything to be on paper. So luckily, I got to see everything that she. Um, wrote out and um, like corrections that she made and this year I'm taking a dual room in English and English is like a major I don't know if I want to double major or not but English is a major that I want to um, do in college so I think it really helped me um, with research and writing research papers and annotating and citing and everything you want to be a teacher I don't think so. <laughs> Good try. Good try. We'll talk after. Yeah. Make your teacher recruitment pitch, okay? Um, another thing I learned while in the early college academy is the blue books. It really helped me understand the blue books more because I've seen them before, but actually taking it and writing in the blue books have help me figure out what it is, basically. You get like a sheet of paper than you, the blue book itself. No. You know it well. <laughs> That's great. Any, anything from our, our round table? Uh, one more, I think. Oh, great. Uh, hi, my name is Tia Gopal. Um, I know most of you here, I was in the Fitchburg School Committee as a former member and currently I'm in an unpaid internship with Michael Kushmerik. Um, I'm also part of the early college program, and the most important thing I've learned about this program is that it's providing you for the real world, what you're going to need in the real world, like research skills, communication skills, um, and how to manage your time effectively. And also I've learned how to advocate for not only myself, but for others, because in this world, uh, nobody is going to help you unless you advocate for yourself. So that's what I, these were the major lessons that I learned from the early college program. Um, and also another thing, like, I took sociology and um, psychology, and at first, I was like, what am I doing taking these type of classes? Like, this is not, I, I didn't think it was going to, like, help me for the future and stuff. But I realized, like, in life, like, it's not that you focus on the main thing that you want to do, but it's also the little things that count, too. Like, you need basic, basic um, social skills. You need to know, like, a lot about other people, like, in order to, like, get a better understanding, like, quicker. Like, I feel like if I could talk, like, talking to somebody, it's a lot more easier because, like, I know, like, the, how, like, you know, I just know how they're going to be based on what I learned. And I also took a little bit, like, more than just a dual enrollment. Like, I went on my own and did my own research a little bit because I got really interested at the end. And, yeah, I just want to thank the early college program for that. Some of you, uh, some of the students, some of you guys spoke about uh, challenges that you had. Uh, Ennio, I was, 
what can we do better to make this like a better experience? Um, definitely um, be with the student more like one-on-one -on -one and um, just um, uh, having like parent conversations um, depending if the student has like an IEP, um, see where you guys could fit in there and stuff like that with the help. Thank you. Um, I would also say greater availability because although I was able to take like the introduction to sociology course in the first part of the summer, for the second part I wasn't able to take the introduction to psych because it was like they said that the class was too full. So I think that there could be like, the option to be like greater like expansion of like class size because online or they could like diversify the courses. Um, also, I wish there was like a little bit more like STEM type courses. And because like for what I want to do, I want to be a biochemical engineer in college. And um, I got into Ohio State and I looked in their program and then a lot of stuff, it made me realize that like I might be a little bit unprepared, but um, maybe, you know, like I know I know myself, I know I'm gonna like catch up and get everything right. But uh, for the future, like people who wanna do early college program, I just hope that like maybe there's a little bit more STEM type courses. Great, the Ohio State University. <laughs> Um, I think also we have a lot of online courses, but I think um, maybe incorporating some on-campus courses. I know me and Rachel were talking about that before, and it might be um, cool for us students to come in and understand campus life and see, okay, is this campus good for us, um, or is this not good for us? What, what do we want in a campus? Because when choosing colleges, it's a little bit hard because we don't know what type of environment we want to be in. So um, allowing us to come in and maybe take one course there or something, just allowing us to experience what campus life could be. I have a question. Is that, may I? Please, well, as a Michigan man, I will reserve my comments on that <laughs> at a later date. But I'm interested. You know, each of you has just got tremendous amount of confidence. We know you're well on your way to success. I wonder what message you would give to someone who might be listening thinking about whether or not they should do an early college course, what would you say to them would be the reason for them to do it? Oh, hi, my name is Madison Perrin. Um, I would say do it, it's free. What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you <laughs> like, Get to the point. Like, <laughs> you spend 45 minutes a day, or well, yeah, if you take two, then 45 minutes a day, and you use a resource that you wouldn't get uh, anywhere else. Like, it's. You, there's more benefit than there is loss. Yeah. Definitely um, upcoming freshmen, um, stuff like that, I will let them know uh, within the junior and senior year to take dual enrollment, just because it, it offers a variety of classes and you could you know, get advanced ahead of the game before you even go to college. Um, I think that um, you guys should also go for it. Um, at Fitchburg High too, like they'll um, have um, forms for you guys to fill out um, if you guys want to or are interested in participating and it's really it's not that bad again it's free you don't need to pay any money um, all you need is just like a signature um, and then go to our gear up center and if you have any questions just ask Miss Phillip <laughs> or anybody else yeah I would definitely suggest that the um, upcoming juniors and um, upcoming juniors and the all of the incoming freshmen definitely consider taking it because in my experience especially in the math field compared to the English field the English field has always been like felt like it's been progressive mm -hmm. and math field is exponential kind of and I feel like the AP test I haven't taken the lit one but based on others experiences I feel like dual enrollment English is probably the way to go in my opinion for the English class at least um, I think also I would say do it because um, a lot of my friends or just people I've talked to about you know early college and um, signing up um, a lot of them say you know it might be too hard for me I don't know if I'll be able to do it if I'll be able to handle it but I'd say do it because you know it teaches you like um, 
it shows you how college is going to be. And even if you fail or you don't do as well, you took something from it, you learned something from it, and you'll learn how to do better next time, and you'll be better prepared for college as well. Can I just ask a quick follow-up question to that? What supports are available for you uh, for those students who are interested <laughs> but worried about failure? Um, I'll let Alicia. <laughs> you? You? <laughs> Um, well, I know at least for class of 24 and 25, um, we have gear up resources. Okay. So that's um, tutoring. Um, um, we have four tutors, I think. Sorry if I'm wrong about that. Um, right. But we have four tutors who are very good with us and they work with us constantly. Um, they take us on campus tours and everything, but they're always down to help. Anytime that I'm struggling or um, I need some assistance or I'm like, you know, just having a rough day, they're always there to help provide you with anything that you need. So I think Gear Up is a great resource. I'd say the biggest takeaway I've had from any of this is just take advantage of all the opportunities. And there definitely is a lot like handed to us, especially with early college. Um, the professors, all of them were awesome, super flexible. Um, and then the support looked like all around this room. We have amazing guidance counselors, amazing support, even Ms. Broussard. Um, she's been a great help. Um, there's always just support, and I think it's hard to notice sometimes that there is always those people there for you. Could I, could I make a quick, um, in all due respect to Commissioner, I, I did go to The Ohio State University, so <laughs> <laughs> if you would like to talk after. Um, one of the strengths, uh, I think, about the partnerships that are in this region between uh, Fitchburg State and Mount Wachusett Community College and Fitchburg Public Schools and, um, in particular is that we are all at the same table working together to try to create opportunity for you. Um, but we don't always know what some of your challenges are and what some of the obstacles are. And I'm curious um, if any of you could talk about what, what, what is out there that's holding students back from participating in early college opportunities? Um, uh, my name is Nakaya Davis. I'm a junior. This is my first year at Fitchburg High. And I think what really holds students back, well, for me, it was just like the college courses because <clears throat> like me, I have like kind of like a learning disability sometimes with certain subjects. So it's kind of hard for certain to learn certain subjects. And I just didn't think I would have the support that I would have. But I was just like, it's just like a new thing for me to do. And college is really expensive. And if this is a way to get some credits to take the money off of it, might as well do it. And I really got support from my guidance counselor, Garab, my professor. It was really good, my classmates. So I would just say, like, if you don't think you have support, you do. Everybody's within the race with you. Thank you. Another thing I would like to add about these, um, the what's holding people back is scheduling conflicts. <laughs> we, we I, I talked about that, haven't we? we talked about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, scheduling conflicts was the biggest thing I found in junior year that when I was trying to go into the um, English 102 course, which I took this year instead of last year. That's the biggest thing. Thank you. Hi. Um, promotion is something that holds a lot of kids back because um, when we were applying sophomore year, um, we only honors kids really applied because we were the only ones that were talked to about it. Mm -hmm. Um, and then those that were in honors talked to their friends about it, but by the time they kind of understood how the applying process worked, it was too late for them to also join within the program. Hi, my name's Jade, and um, so at first I was kind of like scared to like start early college and stuff like that, but then like I went, I did the upper bound program at Fitchburg State and that helped me because I got to live in the dorms for six weeks. So it like got, it like made me get the college feel. And then I took the summer before my senior year, I took an early college class and 
it was a three hour class and I was surprised because usually I only take like 45 minutes of each class. <laughs> but it gave me a feel of like how college life would be. So it made it easier for me when I started English 101 and 102 this year. And I think like I suggest it to other people because it gives, it's like a free opportunity to get some, a head start. Uh, hi, my name is Douglas Mata. I'm a junior. Um, another thing that could be a challenge uh, or that holds people back from applying to dual enrollment would be like some myths. Some people think that taking some other type of course, like an AP course, for example, <laughs> would be an easier, easier choice than taking a dual enrollment. When in reality, uh, like a AP course is more rigid. They have a like a curriculum that they have to get to in a certain amount of time. Whereas dual enrollment, they, they also have that rigidity sometimes, but they go more in, in depth into the course, which I feel it makes it easier. But yeah, so yeah. And that's, that, that's something that was a factor. Um, I would say representation, like what we see in the real world really does reflect here. Um, think about how many predominantly white institutions there are in the U.S. versus diverse colleges. Some people see that and they are scared and they don't want to move forward because they think, well, I don't see myself there, so I'm not going to make it there. And I think Fitchburg is really great because we're really diverse and we get a good sense of what it's going to be like. But I know a lot of people in my grade going into college next year were so scared about going from Fitchburg to going anywhere else. And I know I was afraid of that very thing. And I think being in this program helped us learn about different colleges that were just like us. And I could see people like me and I could see people like my other friends there. And that was really helpful. So uh, if I could just say two things. One, uh, as you all were sharing uh, your stories and your experience, uh, I was looking over here and I just saw such prideful looks uh, on the faces of staff here and I think we all share in the joy and the pride uh, of the work that you're doing uh, and your resilience uh, and your uh, willingness to take a risk. Right? Uh, this was a, a step uh, that you know may, might have been uncertain, uh, but you, you've taken that step and, and the, 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 the benefits are just gonna be so far reaching and we're all so proud of you. If we could do something uh, really quickly that I, I used to use to wrap uh, faculty meetings when my faculties were small, um, um, and it's called One Word, right? And I'll give you a moment to reflect, but if you could have, you've got all these people here. You've got the governor, lieutenant governor, you've got elected folks, you've got commissioners. If you could think of one word that you want us to reflect on, think about, remember, uh, that captures your experience as early college students, what would it be? And uh, I think I'm gonna start with the young man that has the mic, uh, but we'll, we'll go quickly. I'll give you a moment to think about it, and it's just one word, okay? Let's see if we can do this. Go ahead, sir. Um, Wait I'm, a minute, I said I'd give you a minute to think uh, about okay. it, <laughs> and I didn't do that. Can you repeat the question, please? <laughs> <laughs> one word you would have us think about uh, or remember relative to your experience as early college students. Intriguing. Okay. And then pass the mic when you shared your word. Motivated. Motivated. This was a hard one, but I'm gonna say. Young lady, I said one, one more. word. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Go ahead. Opportunity. Awesome. <laughs> Confidence. Determination. Insight. Uh, persistence. Support. Inspiring. <laughs> uh, resilience. That was two, but go ahead. <laughs> Bravery. Courageous. Representation. Ready. Strength. <laughs> Privileged. Honored. People keep taking my words. Um, <laughs> I'd say diverse. Diverse. Thank you. Thank you.
you so much. Um, as we as we uh, wind down here, um, does anyone wish to say anything? We're gonna we're gonna come. We want to take a picture with you. I know we want to do that so we can celebrate you. Um, but any any other thoughts? I just wanted to ask about the who in the room. Um, at DESE and DHE, we work hard to talk about creating conditions for student success. So if you could go back to the one word, um, maybe two words, the name of a leader who helped support you in their position, because it's helpful for us to create the conditions for your success, both from K-12 and in higher ed. Can you repeat that? Yes, the name of an adult who helped support you in your transitioning with early college from high school and college, well, whether it's guidance counselors, um, whether it's a teacher, whether it was a professor, that, 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 that adult who helps provide that mm -hmm. lever for success. Ms. Kimber. And her position, her position. Vice principal of our class. Raise your hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would say Ms. Phillips. She's uh, well, for me, she's my neighbor, you know. And <laughs> but yeah, she also helps with the whole uh, early college. I was also going to say Mrs. Phillips. Great. I've received so many emails from her. It's very helpful. <laughs> um, my queen, Miss Emma Brassard, and she's kind of oversees all of early child, early child, um, <laughs> early college, and she's been amazing. Um, my guidance counselor, Michelle Hull. I'm going to say the same thing, Ms. Hull, my guidance counselor. She was also my guidance counselor, Ms. Hull. <laughs> Plus one. Um, <laughs> um, Mr. D, my gear up tutor. Um, <laughs> Um, Julie Primo, the director of Upper Bound at Fitchburg State. Ms. Phillips, with all the um, interesting, what's the word called, meetings that happened over the, on the Fridays that we didn't have um, early college. Mrs. Laporte, she's my guiding counselor. I have to say, Ms. Hool, my guidance counselor, she's been awesome. She um, introduced the whole early college thing to me, and I was kind of nervous at first, but she assured me it'll be okay. Ms. Hool, like always, like everyone's been saying, because she's the one that, you know, talked about it first and is the one that recommended it to me. Uh, I'd also have to say Ms. Hool, and um, yeah, she's just, she's just really good about pushing that program out. Oh. Uh, Jennifer Scott, she was the former um, leader of the Honors Academy, and she really relayed a lot of information about the early college program and made sure that everyone had the knowledge to know about it. Um, I would say Ms. Broussard, she um, contacted us yesterday, and she um, helped us apply to be here today. I would say Ms. Houle, she's been very helpful with... Um, Making, our, making taking classes easier, and she's always posting community service options for us, and I'm just really grateful for her. Where is Ms. Hool? I just want to, first of all, Governor, I want to thank you and your team for visiting Fitchburg here and really highlighting the importance of education of early college in particular. Uh, we're thankful for your commitment uh, in the budget, $4 million more in Fitchburg. Early college uh, enrollment is increased by 19% here. Uh, clearly, you've heard about the opportunity that it is providing our students. So whether they're going to Fitchburg State or Mount Watchus and Gardner or they're going to Wentworth in Boston or that place in Cambridge, uh, <laughs> you know, our kids can grow and achieve. And clearly, you heard that today. And I also want to thank the staff that helped put this together. Uh, Emma Brassard, who's our early college person, Stephanie Kimber, Becky Leva, Craig Shalfo, standing in for uh, Mrs. Jarrett. So again, thank you for coming out. It's important. It's important to have this type of communication and dialogue directly with the students. It's not filtered. 
so there's no superintendents association, school committee association, or other organizations. This is what's happening here. And as was said earlier, there's a lot of good stuff happening in Fitchburg, and it's all because of our kids and our staff. Exactly. So great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh.